All right, after a long wait, we finally have received the Analog Super NT. Now in the box, it came with the box with the, the main console and then this envelope underneath. Um, wasn't sure what's in the envelope. You have to rip it open to, to uh, get to the contents. So I uh, ripped it open, um, as we do right now. Um, and inside was the director's cut of Super Turgen. Um, that Analog got permission. They licensed the the full version, the the game. It's a um, originally it was an eight megabit game, and they had to shrink it down to like four or three to fit on the cartridge. So this is the full version, not cut. Um, the box does kind of annoy me a little bit because they didn't match the the graphic style with the original Super Nintendo games. You kind of have to flip in instead of rotate. Uh, I know it's a little thing, but still. Um, so the box itself is is covered in this thick sh shrink wrap, um, and the box is very dense. As you can see, there's the specs um, for the system, um, but the whole box I think it weighs about three pounds, and it's not that big of a box. It's probably like a nine by nine by three or something. It's pretty small. Um, but fortunately, because it's thick plastic, it, it wasn't too uh, difficult to, to cut off. Be able to get the blade under it without having to worry to scratch anything up. And the plastic rip pre, it, it rips off easily. It's not, it's not like a CD case where the plastic just clings to your hands. This stuff came off pretty good. Um, and I was able to get inside just ripping it off. No fuss, no muss. Um, and make a lot of noise with this stuff. Alright, now let's get this opened. Uh, just slide it straight up. And there we go. Look at that. So as you can guess, I went with the Super Famicom color scheme, which has the dark gray with the darker gray buttons, as opposed to the purple of the, the Super Nintendo variation. Now this thing is very dense. I mean, um, it probably weighs close to two pounds. It's not that big. It's about two-thirds of the size of the Super Nintendo Mini. Um, and it does have an SD card slot for firmware updates. I don't think you can play games off the SD card. Or if you can, I have not found that feature yet. Um, and then they came up this little booklet. It kind of has a little line drawing of the overview of the, the unit and a little bit about who Analog is and then about the included game. Um, there's Super Turkin and Super Turkin 2 pre-built on the system. Uh, this bottom piece right here is it, it is in there tight. Um, they it would have been nice if it was the box was you know a millimeter bigger so that this thing could come out. Um, but this is like the the accessories for the the console. Uh, this did not come with controller. You had to provide your own controller, but it did come with a few accessories if you want to call it that. Um, but once I get the box open, uh, we'll see what's inside. All right, so first we have is the USB cable. So this the, the Super NT is actually powered via a micro USB. Um, they also included a HDMI cable that says analog on it, which is kind of cool. And then the little um, USB power brick um, that is taped, glued shut. Um, but this too also has the analog logo. I don't know if the, I don't, the camera doesn't really show it very well. You can kind of see it. It's very faint. Uh, if you got the map, if you got the black console, it probably matches it perfectly. Um, I did not. Um, but that's all the goodies. I don't really need to use the HDMI cable right now. I have plenty pre-hooked up, so I'll just put that back in the box and save it for later. Or, you know, it's kind of cool to have all the analog stuff together. Um, and I'll just hang this box up someplace. It, it, it's a nice add-on. It just, there's a few things about it that bug me. Thank you for watching this unboxing of the Super NT from Analog, a clone Super Nintendo system that's hardware-based, not software-based. Um, please subscribe to the channel to see other videos and unboxing. And I'll try and get a video up soon of 
the comparison of the Super Nintendo to HDMI via just a simple converter box, and then Super Nintendo to a HDMI converter via SCART, um, and then the analog, and see which one. See the, see the difference. I mean, you obviously know the analog is going to look a little. It's going to look a lot better than just taking the signal from the Super Nintendo and just cram it up to 720, like one of those cheap little boxes you get off uh, of Amazon. But um, I have that video come out soon, and you can we can compare the quality between the three methods. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good night. Bye bye.